Hello and welcome to this short demonstration movie where we're going to take a look at the new animal grouping module. This is all new functionality in Uniform and to find it you need to go to the cow's head, select number 1, daily tasks, and then number 11, animal grouping. Now the first thing I do is I would go to properties, I would select the advanced tab, and here you can see we can select the items of information we want to see on the screen. So I would always pull out, if I had milk meters, the seven day average. So we'll select that, we'll hit save settings, we'll go back to general, and here you'll see there's a new option, and if we tick this, any animals that have been regrouped after saving will automatically be printed. So we'll say okay to that. Right, the next place we need to go to is settings on the left hand side. This will look familiar, but you'll see there's some new items of information on the screen. So on this screen, you can now set up a new group before carving for the cows and also a new group before carving for the first carvers as well. Everything else is pretty much as you had before until we go to the advanced screen. So this is all new. Now we can regroup based on criteria as we have here, or we can base it on a group size. So here we said automatically when the animals carve, they can go into the post carving group, which is based on days in milk between one to 21. After 21 days, we then automatically move them into the high yielders group. But here we put in the criteria that the seven day average needs to be greater than 30 for first carvers and 40 for cows. This farmer also wanted a secondary criteria sort so that the cows, if they were pregnant, will automatically then be moved into group number three. So we have high yielders in two that are not pregnant and high yielders in three that are pregnant. And you can see how we've used the criteria to arrange this. Then when the production level hits a certain point here, we've got below 30, seven day average, and below 40 for the cows, the animals then can automatically be regrouped into the low yielders. So let's say OK to that. Now we have the option then to hit regroup. So what's happening now is based on the criteria that we've used, you can see the current group, but importantly, the new group. And also what you can do now is you can also individually move cows groups. So she is a low, she's in the low yielders, but only by a little bit. So we're going to put her back into the high yielders for now. So we've used the criteria, we've moved the cows, but then individually you can move cows again before you save it. Yeah. And do we have the option to select maybe a group of cows, two or three cows, or do we have to do them individually? No, so if you've got a couple of cows you want to move, you can press the shift key and select the ones you want, and then right click, move to group, and then you can put them in a special group. Okay, so nothing has happened yet. We've used the criteria, we've individually moved some cows, we can select a number of cows and move them, but it's only at this point now where we hit save that it's stored. Okay, so that's it done. That is saved, so we can now hit close. And um, you might be wondering where the old animal grouping wizard has gone. You can still find that under the cow's head, daily tasks, daily events, and under batch entry, and then into grouping. Okay, so we still have the existing functionality. We've now built on it, made it more flexible. And if you have any questions, please call the help desk and we look forward to setting this up for you.